So I guess since the advent of DAA, directly acting antiviral therapy with sofosbuvir and all the new molecules that were in the market, there's been like this sparked optimism towards elimination of hepatitis C. And everyone's talking about it. The WHO has set targets of elimination by 2030, but there's limited political commitment. There's a lack of funding. So the big question really is like, if we don't have money, what can we do to actually achieve elimination, right? So there are different ways of looking at this. And one way is to actually capitalize upon existing infrastructure that's already available for other diseases such as HIV or tuberculosis and try and see, can you integrate hepatitis C programming into these services or even harm reduction services which already exist. And the other one, the other approach I guess would be to simplify the way we deliver therapy right now. The way we've approached the hepatitis C epidemic in India, especially among people who inject drugs, is to look at services that people who inject drugs already access and see, can we piggyback hepatitis C services on top of the existing services? And so what we did in a cluster randomized trial was we integrated hepatitis C testing into existing opioid substitution therapy centers. And we wrapped around all the other, I guess, HIV prevention and treatment services. So we brought in sit -in service programs, we brought in HIV testing, TB treatment, TB diagnostics, all into the same venue. So it almost became like a one-stop shop. Additional incremental cost was just the cost of the testing. So for literally like $1 a test, you're able to provide services to a lot of other people just using existing infrastructure. I think it is about time we learn from HIV and start hepatitis C programs by starting off with where HIV is leaving, has left off, and start with integration. Because I think that's the best way of eliminating hepatitis C.